Welcome back, Brigadier fans and strategy lovers. This is Double 77 Trigger here, and you are watching the Battle of Lograds. Now, this is a pretty exciting battle here, and I'm going to show you exactly why. Coming right up. Now, here I'm uh, basically forming a V formation. Uh, this is a basic defensive formation that you can uh, put up um, and uh, have your monsters, knights, and uh, you know, um, you know, form up and uh, make a decent line. Now here, uh, there is a reason why I've chosen this type of formation. Uh, pretty much, I've chosen it because I really wanted to get the uh, the Holy Griffin and the White Dragon uh, right up in the front with my regular dragon, because of the fact that um, you know I have the ability to attack two spaces away with my Holy Griffin, and um, you know I have the Ass Breath of the Dragon and I have the White Dragon's Full Time Breath, so. I could possibly shoot some acid through my white dragon if I had to, in which case I just might do that because here's the thing: killing off this uh, this Lord Vampire uh, is a very, very good uh, you know tactic to do. Um, here, the only thing I was probably disappointed about just a little bit that um, you know, looking in retrospect, I thought, oh, I wish I would have put my Archangel there because. I just, yeah, they just put the, um, the Lord Vampire there, so I could have, um, you know, wound up for a second attack with a Divine Ray, and I could have, uh, blown him out of the water, but, um, oh well, you know, sometimes you, you come to those points in the game where you're like, ah, oh, I wish I would have done that, um, and that's just kind of, a uh, part about life, that's, that's kind of the part, uh, the reason why we're not robots, um, <laughs> if we were robots, we'd know all these things right away, and there, there'd be, uh, no rhyme or reason for explaining them, um, but uh, in uh, in this case, uh, it's still it's not so bad because I mean it's it's good and it's bad. But um, the good part is, uh, if I really wanted to, if I really kind of needed to, I could definitely do an area heal, um, <clears throat> and I do think they get area heals. Uh, if I don't get area heal, then um, you know that kind of sucks. Um, I'm not uh, remembering, if I'm not remembering uh, too well right now, because uh, I haven't, um, you know, I haven't uh, played the game in a few days, uh, but, uh, yeah, in any case, even with or without the area heal, um, you know, I'm trying to, basically, what I was trying to do is I was trying to set up for a holy word, uh, but uh, he is a little bit far away, you can only hit um, a few things here and there. And uh, I kind of wanted to defend this side from a possible uh, flank from them to come and attack uh, the pixie that I have here. So uh, basically what you're seeing here is um, this is something that I really like to do. And there's the biggest reason for this is, is so that in case I had a lot of monsters hit, in case I had a lot of damage done to me, I pretty much healed up the whole entire team and uh, you know all in one turn and um, you know I could have waited till later to do this but here's the big thing and here's the big uh, but that uh, you know comes along with it um, I need the Phoenix to go out and fight <laughs> this is um this is a pretty decent uh, frontline team uh, but uh, still, even then, you still want to, you know, bring out more flankers, more really, really good flankers. And phoenixes are even better than rocks at flanking, I believe, because of their ability to heal. Now, you can keep a rock out and have it flank, but you need to keep a pixie or a unicorn within a reachable space so you can heal it up and still do, do you know, still do... Uh, bleh, some damage with your um, crybird. So you still need to stay within a uh, decent distance to do that kind of thing. And uh, you've seen in other videos before where um, I pull out my phoenix, put him on the right side or put him on the left side and, uh, you know, put him up and um, out a little bit as a flanker to just sit there and use crybird. And uh, it will do a whole lot of damage to their army. It can paralyze. Uh, I know that, um, I think I've seen it in here that the Crybird now in the Grand Edition actually stones. So that, <laughs> that's actually a lot better. Uh, but uh, 
Yeah, I mean, as far as putting a Phoenix out there, it's really good because they can flank well, they can hold up for a long time. Uh, the only down part is if they have to fight a lot of blue uh, creatures, um, or they're getting, uh, you know, magic attacked uh, with uh, blue spells. So that's the only really, uh, that's the only uh, down part to it. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, as, as far as this goes, you know, I'm just trying to figure out what do I want to do? What should I do here? Should I try to kill a Zemeckis and possibly steal the Lord Vampire? Now typically, yeah, I will try and do that uh, in my normal gameplay, uh, especially with the, um, the regular uh, edition. I, I guess I'm just going to call it the North American version. But uh, I will typically do that with that version. Uh, with this one, I've noticed that it's a lot tougher. I'm really not getting hardly any monsters if with a, a leader kill. I'm really not getting much. Uh, sometimes I get absolutely... Actually, most of the time I get absolutely nothing. And, um, you know, typically on hard too, I don't really get much. So, you know, there, there are times where you can get blessed with uh, a decent monster. Yeah, you know, capture. But uh, there's... You know, that's, that's very few and far between. Uh, typically, you will get that in the um, easy mode. You'll get that in easy mode a lot. You can attack, kill the leader, get all their best monsters, and you just keep moving on. Um, but, um, yeah, here I haven't really been um, getting anything that great. So, my goal, and especially because I'm going to be killing off Logres and I don't want to be fighting huge amount of, uh, you know, good level monsters at the end. You know, the last castle of uh, Logris, which would probably be on Fado, because I usually trap them on Fado. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm going to, uh, uh, basically, I'm, I'm going to kill off all their best stuff, because that's going to help me out the most. And uh, if you're playing this on hard, and you're trying to get them down to one castle, and you don't want to you know, go and fight their best stuff on their last castle with your best stuff and possibly lose something, you probably want to kill off their best stuff before you get to the last castle, because once you get to the last castle, they're going to have as many monsters as they, you know, were allowed to have. And uh, they're going to use all their best stuff on you uh, to defend that castle, and it's going to be a pain in the butt. So, you know, that's kind of how you want to do it, and that's, a, that's basically a good tactic to do. Um, now, here I'm definitely probably going to uh, blow this Acid Breath through here because I'm not going to be in a very good position to attack the, um, it, you know, attack the, uh, the Lord Vampire again. And um, that knight, uh, whatever knight is there, maybe it's VL, but he's going right away next after Palmighty's goes. So I need to kill this thing off quickly, and I need to scatter around, you know, move around my centaurs to try to get really good position. And a high centaur is the only one I could get in a good position without putting him over by the mandrake, because put him over by the mandrake and he gets paralyzed. And he's one of the crucial parts of my team. I don't, I don't really like, I don't like it when my back row gets disabled. You know, I can understand my front row and I can still move with that, but um, yeah, I just, I don't like the back row getting disabled. So that's why. You know, I moved it around like that. And you'll see some pretty good uh, movements with the centaurs here. And you just kind of need to watch it and, uh, you know, see, you know, what you can do and, and how well you can do it. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was a very good uh, a way of, um, you know, taking out that Lord Vampire and getting rid of it. Because, honestly, they're actually very, very good in this version. Um, they uh, come with the spell... Um, weakness as well as Necro Rebirth and so the bad attack in this version of the Grand Edition doesn't cost anything it uh, has a low hit ratio but it doesn't cost anything so you get a free ranged attack with them uh, it's you know it's uh, it's like a free lunch it's nice so you, know, you can go with that and uh, enjoy it um, so, you know, Zemeckis is definitely going to stay. He still has a red dragon. You know, he, he still has some, some decent stuff. He, and basically, he's set himself up in a very good position to constantly acid and fire breath Vinard. 
and uh, you know a good amount of my guys and I know that's going to be you know one of the cases one of the things that's going to happen but uh, um, the reason I put the Phoenix back there was so the first hit you know that I took I could definitely take it and heal up most of my frontline team uh, so uh, excuse me so that kind of worked out really well and here I was getting very worried with my wyvern because I've been trying to play where I don't have any more creatures die I mean I've had probably I think four monsters die on me you know total that um, that have died on me and uh, one I kind of just intentionally let go because I wasn't going to use it <laughs> but um yeah on, on second thought I wish I would have um, probably kept him because he was it was still a um, okay level and um, you know maybe in the future uh, I'll try to level up a Mandrake um, all the way and see how good it is. Because uh, definitely I think their long-ranged uh, uh, spinal uh, missile attack, spine needle, uh, it does paralyze from a distance. So you can paralyze from a distance and stay safe with those things. So I don't know, I might I might actually level one of those up. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll try it out later um, before the very end so I can see what, you know how good they are. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a little worried right now about my Wyvern, and this is one of those positions where, um, you know, you think, oh, you should have, um, you know, protected him or, uh, you know, healed him up first instead of a Lizard Guard, and, um, you know, that, that was on my mind too, um, I was thinking, well, who should I, who should I heal up the most? Definitely, you know, looking on, uh, these videos and looking, uh, you know, watching them a lot, I've been thinking, Definitely you want to heal up your flanker the most. Uh, the one in the furthest corner because he's... It's it's the one thing. Or, you know, if it's a knight, it's going to be the it's going to be the thing that's going to get hit the hardest. Because it can get surrounded. And if they try to outflank you, you know, like they're trying to right now, um, you know, with my, uh, with my corner uh, uh, defensive wyvern in there, it's going to be a very bad thing if they can uh, do that because they're going to concentrate on him and they're going to kill him off and that's going to be it. So, you know, I, I really was thinking, oh man, I really wish I could heal him up right now. Um, you know, I was thinking that I needed to heal up the Lizard Guard because the, the Red Dragon will trump my, I'm sorry, <laughs> will trump my Lizard Man. Uh, I keep saying Wizard Guard, I just, I do that all the time. Uh, but uh, my Lizard Man is going to get beaten pretty hard by the Red Dragon. And plus they have a Venom spell they can do on it. Uh, they can have Archers. Uh, they can throw a Spear. I mean, they, they got a lot of stuff they can do. Um, they can, Zemex can shoot it. And uh, so it's kind of um, a very weak thing right at the moment. So I thought my uh, Wyvern would be a good distraction. And so far it became that way <laughs> and uh yeah and uh i think Zemeckis just shot at me and missed <laughs> which is pretty <laughs> pretty awesome yeah the uh, vineyard is pretty good at deflecting arrows and uh that's the one great thing that he has in this game too as he did in the normal version um now uh i wasn't looking too too carefully but i think that's what happened so um, yeah, any, anyway, um, I'm kind of thinking, okay, you know what, I want to keep everything alive, and now my boyfriend's dead, so that sucks, that's not what I was going for, uh, you know, I'm trying to do everything I can to, you know, make a good position, I've got a good defensive, uh, you know, pack here, um, uh, but, uh, you know, I was kind of saved by that, you know, he decided to go for Viner because, well, I mean, why not shoot at the leader? And, uh, I don't really need to heal up Viner because he's in the back and he can only get hit so many ways. And, um, so, you know, having him close enough to the front line was kind of a distraction so I could pull my Wyvern out of the way and get him out of there. Because, uh, if I can level him up all the way, that'd be great. He's level 7, you know, Definitely, Cawtill's bomb mods are just really, really awesome at what they do. And now that I've already used my Phoenix for all the heals it can do, if I had another heal option, I would do it again. But um, since I'm, you know, not able to do the heal voice, 
I can actually pull out that phoenix and start using it to uh, flank. I can put it in that spot the uh, the Wyvern is in, and he'll be just fine. Because he's at full hit points, he'll heal up. He does good damage. Well, not to a dragon, but, you know, he does decent damage to most other things. That, um, you know, he, he really won't die in the corner there. I mean, there's, there's really nothing that's going to kill him. Uh, there's there's nothing blue there that's uh, really going to damage him. So, right now, you know, throwing frost bells, doing what I can, uh, you know, getting a kill on this red dragon here and kicking him off. And uh, that's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what, uh, you know, I wanted to happen. Kill off their uh, Lord Vampire and kill off the red dragon. Now, all they have left are, you know, they've got a little little dragon um they got a demon hell dog combo there um you know because i killed off the best stuff they might try running right now so i'm gonna try to kill off the things that could hurt me probably the most and i would say probably the demon the unicorn is kind of a pain i don't like i don't like the enemy having healers you know at the end at the very end when i'm fighting them so i'm gonna try killing off their uh you know, their healer, kill off the hell dog maybe, and definitely get the demon. Now, if I can kill off the demon, um, that would be more beneficial to me than just killing off the dragons. Dragons are kind of easy to kill off if you know what you're doing, uh, but trying to get to, you know, the back row fighters, that's kind of a challenge. And, uh, you know, if you can get to that and do that kind of stuff, um, you'll kind of have a heads up on the enemy because killing off their healer, healers basically helps you kill off the leaders easier um, and uh, yeah so right here I just figured you know this is probably the best approach I can do you know I'm doing two um, you know breath attacks sideways now I got a you know a triangle effect going on I'll be able to you know lower them down enough and uh, you know get three kills with this so you know seeing that type of position really helped out I want to try to get Palm Mighty's a kill too, because, you know, Palm Mighty's is the man. You know, got to get him a, you know, a few kills, level him up. Uh, you know, the Avenger class is just a really, really cool class. So, you know, I want to, um, you know, s strategically do this so I don't put my um, center out there too far. You know, he's in the corner and getting killed off. I just, you know... <laughs> I've done that before and it sucks because you know they will honestly go after something that they can kill and they will they'll do their best to you know to kill it off before they run away and it sucks because they're retreating but they don't just retreat like they do in the normal North American version they retreat and they try to make you upset they try to upset you by destroying some of your best stuff and then they leave going haha I killed this thing off what can you do nothing you can't do anything about it so you know I'm, I'm a little wary about putting my center out in the front line um, but it's at this point where I feel like you know I'm gonna get a few more kills Palmites will be kind of in the front uh, you know the um, center is not gonna be too exposed and uh, I don't think they're going to be able to stay and stick around for this. I just don't see it happening. So, um, yeah, you know, pretty much at this point, it's kind of over. Uh, you know, I know that, um, you know, there's really nothing else for them to stick around and do. I mean, they could try blowing another ass and breath on me and maybe shooting me with Zemeckis, but it, <laughs> it's not going to kill Vinehart. And he has too many healers here. I mean, there's really... There's really no point in them sticking around now. And, um, I mean, you can see that too. I mean, uh, Zemeckis is left with what, a golem, a dragon, a mandrake, a, a centaur, and another eater. I mean, there's really really not much more for them to do. I mean, uh, the leaders are too high. You know, uh, you know, Viner is getting a little weaker, but he, he's not in any critical, you know, position. Um... You know, even if they were to paralyze something or do something, I'd still be able to kill more stuff off. I mean, I could go for Zemeckis right away. It's not going to do anything, and just like that. I mean, you can see there's really there's really nothing more they can do. And, and you can see how, you know, the, uh, the centaur is kind of out there. 
and uh, you know he was going to get attacked. But um, yeah, it, it, they, there's really um, not much more to this. So yeah, um, came and uh, took over Lagres, and uh, it was a pretty fun battle. Um, it took a little while, but uh, you know, a pretty good, uh, um, pretty good positioning on him. Um, you know, maybe except for the fact the demon and the angel, I might have swapped that out and done a little bit different. But um, yeah, that pretty much finishes it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this double seventy-seven trigger here. And um, if uh, you did enjoy it, you did like it, um, hit the like button, favorite, subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. And I will talk to you later. Bye.